All right, today is uh, December the 2nd, 2017. Holly and I are getting ready to go on our little trip to Italy. Holly's getting some last minute cleaning in. <laughs> Make sure that everything is tidy before we leave. We wouldn't want all these leaves. Come back in five minutes. Incredible. <laughs> we'll be taking Lyft and uh, having a human driver as opposed to an automatic or automated self driving car. Well, we just enjoyed uh, going through the uh, international security checkpoint, and it's actually remarkably uncrowded. Uh, very, very few people. Holly, how, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Feeling good so far? We've gotten through security. Yeah. Got our passports ready. Just forgot my glasses. What else is new? Forgot your glasses. Thought they were in my eyeglass case, and they're not. That's all right. We'll get readers. Thanks. Well, it's very festive here today at uh, Hartsville-Jackson International Airport, all decorated for the season, the Christmas season. I see some wild wildlife over here. How you doing? I'm fine. I love your outfit. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> here we go. We're coming back for a second, second view here. Nice lights. Very good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, this is cool, man. I am a, uh, I'm a fashion model. Thank you very much. This is cool. Oh, What's your... like, what is... I've never it's seen this before. Come on now. This is just a little video camera. This Thank you. Say hello. Awesome. Hello. Hola. Como esta? I've never seen go. that before. Like that style. So is it made to look like the one that... So you've got I a little, so. little viewfinder over here. So you can say, say hello to Holly. Oh, I love this. I just realized Holly's backpack is almost as big as she is. She looks like one of those little children there at the uh, kindergarten where they have the enormous, enormous backpack. <laughs> almost as big, almost as big as she is. We're up here in the food court here at the International Terminal. Fabulous. Here comes a celebrity. Looking for celebrities. Here he is. I'm not sure who that is. Not too close. Here's Mark. Proud. Go ahead. I'm very proud of my uh, Mickey Mouse luggage tag here. The only one left. That's good. All right, Holly. We're aboard the aircraft now. Starting our eight-hour flight. Mm -hmm. We'll survive. I hope so. <laughs> All right, we just completed over eight hours in the aircraft. Very long, very long trip. We're now at the uh, Amsterdam airport, standing in line with hundreds of others. You may notice the lack of enthusiasm in my voice. However, I was able to double check that the University of Georgia beat Auburn the SEC Championship. Go dog. We picked up our rental car earlier. A super groovy Alfa Romeo Giulia all-wheel drive. Very quick. Handles great. Veloce. Nice. I know this is a very low light condition here, but uh, this is the entrance foyer to Bob and Alder, excuse me, Bob and Laura Alderson's apartment. The acoustics are quite interesting. What do you think, Holly? It's very neat. Hi, we made it. <laughs> it's my video camera. Say hello. This is very impressive. I understand. I wish this camera had a better night night vision, but uh, is this, this is. Is whole thing going to be like the whole evening going to be recorded? Well, like, most of it. Yeah. That would be a little annoying. Um, yeah. I forgot what I was going to jump in here. I know. He's got the. He's like, I wish you'd sleep with my eyes. I do this. Mm. No, this side. This side first. That's how I can see. Whoa. So cool. Wow! All, all the heat is up here. 
This has been a lot of fun. Bob and Laura hosted us here at this uh, this fun little restaurant. What did you think of the restaurant, Holly? Excellent. Very good. You had the pizza. Arrivederci. Let's wait for our, our host. All right, Alberto. Say hello. Yeah. Woo! I don't know. All right. Where are you parked? Hello. <laughs> what a nice jacket. Look at that. That's very sharp. <laughs> Sari, say hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up? Did you? What did you do today? Tell me one exciting thing you did today. Oh, the filming uh, at the hospital. We yeah. Filmed in an abandoned freezing cold hospital. Outstanding. Yeah. 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 Great actor. Very good. I have to go to the grocery store. Okay. All say, right. Say good night. What is it after? All right. This is the world's smallest elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. It's very, very tiny. Are you from America? Uh, yes. From where? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. Mm -hmm. Here we go. No, let's don't pick them up there, Holly. That's probably not a good idea. All right. Holly's found a cat. Here we are halfway around the world, and Holly's found a feral cat just to, to take home. Hello. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? All right. He says, all right, let me, leave me alone. He's, he doesn't speak English, Holly. All right. That's, that's the fundamental problem. It's a fun little uh, pedestrian area. Unfortunately, in the background, there's some construction going on. But we'll walk on down here, too. It's difficult to see, but uh, this is a, uh, a little private garden area that is associated with this uh, villa, I guess. Here's a nice person taking care of the glass. And then it overlooks the lake. And some of these actually have a boathouse built into them. I'm not sure if this one does or not, but uh, across the way is the small island. It's really very scenic. A lot of tourists on site. Alright, we're on the train from Toronto, <laughs> Turin to all right, well, let's see, today is uh, Tuesday, December the 5th, is that correct? Yes, December the 5th, and we're aboard the train that's going to take us to Modena. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Holly, are you having fun so far? Yes, I am. Great. All right, now we're heading through the city of... Milan and uh, heading on out to Modena. All right, we've arrived at the uh, hotel in Modena and it's uh, very nice. There's a mirrored wall over there. See that? There's the front reception area. And here's their little Christmas ornaments, all on display, and their Christmas tree. Very nice. Now we're walking down the main streets of Modena. Holly's looking like a fashion model. I look like a homeless person because I left my jacket on the train, like an idiot. But, that's life. La Dolce Vita. We're now in the main square of Modena. And as you can see off in the distance, there's a fountain and a, a statue. Uh, this is referred to as the Military Academy. It's uh, quite an impressive building. I, I'm not really sure if it's still actively a military academy or if just a historic military academy. Here's a tourist over to my right. 
And uh, here's a little ice skating rink that's been set up for uh, Christmas time. This is very interesting here. It's a uh, essentially a splash pad for children. It's less than an inch deep, or maybe one inch deep, and then the water drains to the outer edge, and then is recirculated and pumped back in. It's very interesting. Here is the Plaza Christmas tree set up. It's a very interesting composition. It's uh, almost as if it was in the the forest, amongst other trees. It's kind of cool. There's some wildlife. Hello, hello. Here's another one of the splash ponds, but this one is bisected by a pedestrian walkway. Again, the water is only about an inch or two deep, but uh, that's kind of cool. And again, here's some memorial statues, I presume, for folks that were in some sort of military victories. Here we are in a, uh, I guess, a downtown or whatever, uh, retail location. Whoa, cyclist. A lot of fun things happening here. Waiting for them to turn the lights on at night. It's already about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's starting to get dark. It's fun. Many of the uh, retail shops are under this uh, cover. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Of course, it has a fancy Italian name, but I just don't know what it is. But it's uh, very nice. Keeps you out of the hot sun in the summertime or the, in the event it's raining. Very nice. All right, so this is some sort of art installation. The uh, reindeer have crashed, crash landed. And uh, they've got the uh, police tape around the crime scene. I guess this is a, a bit of comedy here. Modna. What do you think of the comedy, Ali? The comedy? That's, uh, oh, it, he crashed, crash landed. Oh, yeah, I like it. All right. All right, so this is Piazza Grande, and the church is, hmm, I cannot pronounce it. It's certainly very impressive. It appears to be the tallest structure in the city. Buongiorno. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. I'll have to get some more details on that. And some lions over there. Maybe there's uh, some tourist information there. This is really cool. I, I'm not sure if I would call this a moat, but it certainly is a... Uh, excavated area around the base of the cathedral here and I I guess maybe rainwater collects down in there I'm not sure or maybe it helps prevent bad people from spray painting graffiti <clears throat> very interesting across the way is another nice tower here very impressive We're now inside the cathedral, and there's quite a bit of restoration going on. It's hard to see. It's quite dark in here. But across the way, there's some fellows up top working, doing something. Surprisingly loud. This is a, uh, a lower chapel. It's underneath the er 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 earlier video I took. It's essentially the basement. But it's very, very nice. I cannot imagine how heavy all the stonework is above. 
you can see some of these columns have been reinforced with these clamps. Oh my goodness, I cannot imagine how heavy that is. And here's, I guess a, I'm not sure what it is. We're here at a little cafe in Modena, Italy. And if you listen in the background, you can hear Bing Crosby singing White Christmas. Holly's enjoying her perfecto hot chocolate. This is uh, essentially the main square of Modena, or the main downtown area, for lack of a better description. Here's an enormous cathedral. It's physically... Oh. It's uh, much larger than the other one. Very impressive. The nice little Christmas tree there in the town square. It may be difficult to read, but this is the public gardens, Palazzia. Virani and monument to Nicola Fabrizi and uh, according to the description these are very naturalized gardens as opposed to formal gardens uh, a more natural arrangement of trees and plant materials the uh, pathways are very organic which was unusual in the 17th century Well, we slept in this morning again until 9.15, so here it is, 10.15. Grazie. Or rather, buongiorno. Sorry. Buongiorno. <laughs> Sorry. So this is fun. We're the only, only guests here. <laughs> Here's the only goofy American here. What do you think of this crazy, crazy place here, Holly? It is nice, isn't it? Complete with American style coffee. <laughs> it's recording now. Okay. Excellent. So here we are in Modena. It's Wednesday. Aim it like you would like a camera. There we go. It's and Wednesday, December the 6th, 2017. Holly Murphy is your videographer. Mark won't let me talk and be myself. <laughs> so what else is new? So here we are in downtown Modena. Um, it's another beautiful day. Um, lots to see. Beautiful architecture. The people are really nice. And Mark's going to go get his headphones repaired. And we will record again later. Bye. Just make sure those people don't take the pictures on All right. They, I'm just getting photos of the uh, boulevard and the little tiny dog in the distance. All right, we'll turn to our right this time. It's a very interesting facility here. It's not quite clear to me what it is, but uh, certainly very cool. It's either a sporting facility or some sort of agricultural facility. I really like the uh, clock up on the ceiling. That's really a fun thing. I see this building. Huh, this must be part of the University of Modena Reggio, Reggio Emilia. So it's not clear to me why there's this large open space. Interesting, I guess it's just a park. This is very cool. These are all uh, essentially headstones or funerary uh, monuments found in ancient cemeteries. Holly correctly identified it. I initially thought they were part of some sort of building, but in fact they are from a cemetery. Each one is huge and uh, 
very ornate, as one might uh, imagine. This little arrangement here is a, I, I, again, I don't know what the correct term is, essentially a little courtyard uh, for the dead that one might find in a cemetery. Really cool. This is an interesting Fiat. I'm not sure what, well, here comes the police. I don't know. So, one direction or the other. Ambulance. But this is a very unusual design. I saw one of these this morning. Very peculiar. And then next to it's a fun little smart sports car, which I've never seen before either. Some sort of target top and a cracked windshield. But uh, pretty interesting little car, nevertheless. Here's something interesting. Looks like there's going to be a gospel choir from South Carolina visiting Modena on December 20th. That's something I, I would not have expected to see. What do you think, Holly? Very different. Well, it's about 4.30 on Wednesday afternoon and uh, little decorative lights have just now turned on, so that's nice. It's uh, surprisingly dark for 4.30. Holly asked if they have daylight savings time and I don't think so. I'll have to research that further. She's in the uh, fragrance shop there, enjoying all the fragrances. Very interesting. Well, here's something I did not expect to see, a little red train. Isn't that fun? Do you want to ride that, Holly? You're good. You're always so good. It's an interesting tree here. It has little little red fruit. I'm not, not really sure what species this is either. Now this looks like a magnolia over here, but it's slightly different. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, this fella was just feeding the pigeons. They're all excited. All the pigeons are excited. Here's a homeless waif. Oh. That's you. <laughs> now this is a very elegant uh, condominium complex. It's difficult to see, but there's beautiful gardens, and then here in the foreground is a subterranean garage. Uh, very, very nice. Probably the nicest residential facility I've seen yet. Very elegant entrance gates adjacent to the main street. We're now inside a uh, second church. I couldn't see the name of it. It's certainly very, uh, very elegant, very beautiful. Um, it's hard to see. The lighting is not quite so good, but... Here's some excellent uh, statuary. I'm going to try to stand in such a way that the sun is to my back. Very impressive. What's incredible is this is all hand carved marble. It's fascinating to me. Here we go. I found the, uh, the the details now. You can read on the second paragraph in English. Very impressive.
Here's yet another unusual little vehicle. Yes. Very cool. Hmm. Ducati. Huh. Interesting. Here we are inside a uh, farmer's market. It's very interesting. They have all kinds of fun things. Surprisingly busy. I guess it's uh, almost 12 noon, so I guess everybody's uh, having fun. There we go. There's some good looking uh, chicken and stuff. Here's a little delivery truck. I often see these around. Unfortunately, this this guy's got a flat tire, so uh, I guess he's left a note. Explains that he's uh, gonna go get his tire fixed. Very interesting. Excellent for uh, maneuvering around in town. Uh, this is the uh, cathedral that's in the main city square of Modena, and uh, spectacular leaded glass. The sun is hitting it just right. It's interesting, it's quite cold in here, but they've added these uh, modern infrared heaters, I guess to help keep folks warm. Again, it's interesting, there's a, a lower level under the main altar, or whatever that's called, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe, well, I don't know. Very interesting. Very nice. Well, here we are at the official uh, Ferrari Museum. They've got a charming older building here to our right. And then this is the fancy new building to our left. Our tour guide is, how do you say, Holly? Holly? Holly Murphy. She's going to be leading us in here in just a moment. It's something you don't see everything. It's a Ferrari-powered boat. That's fun. All right, let's see here. Driving with the star. Here's some various uh, Ferrari motors. I think this one to our left is similar to what's in the Grand Sport. I, I can't say that definitively, but I think it's similar to it. La Ferrari M5 prototype. This is for testing, testing purposes. Here's some electronic devices or electric motors that actually go in the car in the uh, Formula One cars that help uh, provide electrical boost. Very brief. Hikers. There's a fun little F1 car. Very big. And they're much bigger in real life than they look like on TV. nineteen eighty seven turbo v6 formula one engine this is the uh... main showroom if you will of the museum uh... very dramatic architecture big giant arching ceiling here with all the cars up on nice little platforms. Wonderful little displays. The history of racing in Modena. Now we're going down to the second level. It's sort of a, basically a long ramp. If you had a skateboard you could be really working some vertical action here. The camera probably doesn't pick it up but up on the wall there there's a projection of 
various uh, Ferrari images, and uh, in the background some opera, I assume Italian opera. Holly's digging this super groovy GTO. Oh, Holly, don't touch, don't touch Mick Jagger. It's a very, very rare, interesting car. We'll call the F12 TDF. Look at some of the peculiar features, like this little thing there, and the color, and the vents, and so forth. The plaque says 780 horsepower. That's pretty intense. Very interesting. Again, it's hard to see the aerodynamics, but there's a, a nice big vent where the air goes down in and it exits out this way. Fun. I guess if you see that in your rearview mirror, you better pull over. This is a custom built model for Eric Clapton, the uh, musician, guitar player. It's right hand drive, that's nice. But this is uh, unique in that it's unlike any other Ferrari exactly. It's certainly similar to others, but not exactly the same. Very impressive. SP12 EC. I guess the EC is for Eric Clapton. Well, this is very interesting here. This is a funerary stile dedicated to the Loli family. And according to the description below, it was found here at the construction site for the Ferrari Museum. It has nothing to do with the Ferrari Museum. But nevertheless, it is over 2,200 years old and uh, dates back to the very earliest time of Roman, uh, the Roman government colonizing this area. Very interesting. Wow. Let's see, I might be able to focus in on the, the details there. That's just hard to believe. 2,200 years old. We're now in the uh, Civic Art Museum in Mona, Modena. Wow, I cannot pronounce that. And uh, it's just uh, quite impressive, all the artwork and sculpture and whatnot. Incredible. Much of it from the 15th century and even earlier. <laughs> it, it will sound like a decker, no? Uh, <laughs> like a decker, a bosch, no, no. We are. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that, that is, that uh -huh. is. Look. A little teeth, no? A little teeth, 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 teeth. Pop. Wow. Oh. For me, it's uh, a crazy thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Look at that. This fellow looks like an angry fence salesman. Look at this guy. He, his eyes follow you. He's saying, buy the fence. Very impressive. Again, this is a terracotta bust, but really very detailed. Even the little chain links uh, on his uh, necklace or his cape. Very, very impressive. Okay. Uh, exactly. <laughs> He's telling me about the robbery that occurred. All of these statues are terracotta. And the uh, guide just explained that these are probably the best terracotta statues in Italy which one could argue is probably the best in the world. Ah, see. Si. So it was painted white like marble, but in fact it's terracotta. Huh, that's cool. Much of the museum is not really lit very well. 
uh, it's dark. However, this is a very bright room in here, so we can enjoy some additional video. Here's this cat from uh, 1618, I'm sorry, 618 AD. Yes, what is that, Holly? Super groovy harpsichord. Incredible. Do not touch, it says. It looks like it's made of marble. And I presume there were strings attached there. And then here's the giant sound box. I would have loved to hear this thing being played. Again, up on, up on the wall, Holly and I just commented, it's just overwhelming. There's just so much, so much fantastic art. You just can't take it all in. Some interesting uh, violins from the 1600s. And this is incredible. This is so ornate. It's, it may be difficult to see on the screen, but all the woodwork and the carving and everything. Incredible. I'm sure all this work tells a story. Obviously in the center here is the crucifixion. And uh, I'm not really smart enough to tell you what the story is. Really. Holly has pointed out the, the back of this cello, I guess is what this is. Uh, it's just unbelievable how detailed it is. All carved from a single piece of wood. Wow, I bet that was more than a weekend's worth of work there. Our guide is giving us some more in, insights here. He's really into uh, into it, and I respect that. Here we go. Here's uh, an interesting image of Shane and Kyle Murphy as children fighting. I'm sure it was over a video game or something. I can't really tell what this material is. I cannot read the Italian, but it is incredibly ornate. It's a nice little scene. And you look over here, there's a little arbor that's falling apart with some vines and whatnot. It almost looks, I think it's metal. I think it's actually very thin, very thin metal. And then the little red color must be some sort of, maybe it is terracotta, I don't know. But it's it's, uh, it's decaying. Uh, that is, it's uh, falling apart by design. Very, very interesting. This is the back side. We're now aboard the train from uh, Modena to Bologna. It's uh, standing room only. Interesting uh, solar panel farm out there. It's kind of cool. It's a uh, cold and rainy day today, but uh, not too uncomfortable. Hmm. I had the camera plugged in, but it did not charge the battery. That's odd. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. The fabulousness. Uh, this is the museum where the Michelangelo's David is displayed. These are some earlier works of some uh, test sculpture or a study that uh, Michelangelo would work on and then basically abandon. They're incomplete just to help him understand how, the, how to work the, the stone. Off in the distance is the actual David statue.
It's interesting. Uh, the scale and the size of the statue is much larger in real life than you uh, anticipate. I would guess uh, 18, 20, maybe 22 feet tall. It's hard to see off in the distance. I just got the uh, camera out here. There's a Mustang GT. He's getting it. Got a stereo blaring, irritating all the neighbors. Probably an American. Bastard. It's funny, just last night Holly and I were talking about how a uh, Subway sandwich shop would never make it in Florence. It's just too American. But lo and behold, there we go. What do you think about that, Holly? It's crazy. Crazy, baby. And of course, right across the street to McDonald's. You, you gotta love that. Oh, plenty of scooter action. All right, here we are in the main town square of Florence, Forenza, if I pronounce that correctly. You can see off in the distance, there's a uh, nice big Christmas tree. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There it is. All kinds of fun shops and people. Having fun. Bon Natale. We're still in the main square here. This is the uh, Duomo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. We'll probably go inside in a few minutes. Really, it's much more crowded here than it was in Modena. Wow, we just realized at the very top of the dome there are actual uh, spectators or tourists up at the very tip top of the dome. I hope you can see that. And it's quite tall. I don't know how tall it is, but it is way up there. Wow, indeed. This is a very affluent uh, shopping district here. We just passed the Gucci shop and the Prada shop and here's some other fancy things here's probably the biggest sedan I've seen yet it's rare to see a full-size car most of them are uh, very tiny it's interesting this building in the distance has been decorated with little sparkly lights nice little carousel here in this main square very impressive. Very impressive pr public space. All right, here we are on a uh, very uh, broad pedestrian bridge that crosses over the Arno River. Enjoying uh, all the other crazy tourists looking on both sides. Off in the distance, you can see the uh, hills of Florence or whatever some topography we're now at the Boboli Gardens which is a very famous uh, public space much like Piedmont Park or Central Park in New York City some very large buildings and uh, this just uh, this video image represents a maybe five percent of the total garden space. It's huge. It, it would probably take all day to walk. Alright, we're now at another part of the gardens and you can see this enormous fountain here and then you can look down and see the uh, sculptured gardens. And as we look uphill, very formal symmetrical arrangement. Alright, we're midway up the gardens here uh, we still have quite a bit to go up this hill, but at this point we're at the uh, Fountain of Neptune, also called Fountain of the Fork. As you can see, there's Nep Neptune spearing some fish, I guess. All right, well now we are now at the highest point of the Bobley Gardens. It's difficult. But if you look off on the horizon, you can see the uh, Italian Alps. I'll see if I can zoom in on that.
Let's see if it'll zoom in anymore. Nope, that's maximum zoom. And of course that's Florence below. A lot of friendly tourists. Some more statuary. Well, I misspoke. I thought we were at the highest point. And now we're at the highest point. Although it's, the perspective is somewhat obscured by the trees and so forth. And this is the south side of the garden. Very interesting. Again, it's hard to see off in the distance. You can see, again, other mountains and hills and so forth of Tuscany. Here's the monkey fountain, complete with stone monkeys. Oh, I've lost Holly. I'm not sure where she's at. Oh, there she is. All right, now this is called the uh, Island Fountain. And it's obviously a huge pond with a an island in the middle. It's not uh, accessible for, by the general public. We have to just look at it from afar. But here again, part of the value of this is to realize this was all hand dug, all hand built. There was no machinery, there's no equipment. It's incredible. It's Sunday morning, uh, December the 9th. Is that today the 9th? No, today's the 10th. Sorry about that. December the 10th. This is the Arno River. And it's hard to see, but off in the distance is a kayaker kayaking towards the... Uh, there's a dam. You can't see it from our perspective, but there's a small uh, dam. Very interesting. We're heading over here to the dog park. All right, now we're at the dog park. And here's a nice person enjoying enjoying her dog exercise. Oh, that is adorable. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Where is he? Is that him? He's going back up. Yeah. Again, yet another market square. This time we're being entertained by this super, super groovy guy. And I guess he's from South America, I guess. Good morning, Holly. Toscana Aeroporte, waiting for our check-in process. They've given us a flight delay due to heavy winds. That and the fact that there's two attendants for 50 people. I think we've been in line for about 30 minutes so far and haven't moved. So. It's a bit of a frustration. Well, we were told to come back here at 9 o'clock. It's currently 9.17. It's hard to see, but there's, again, several hundred, I don't know, 100 people, including this angry, angry tourist here, all waiting, waiting for some news, some announcement. Well, we're all tired. There's a homeless person over there trying to sleep in the airport. All right, we've now been in line for uh, an hour and a half. Made a little bit of... 
That's right. Holly just pointed out, had we made our flight, or had it not been canceled, we would be in Paris. So, we're getting very close. Well, after a two-hour bus trip, we are now at the Bologna airport, and uh, we'll have to take this flight tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. to Paris, and then from Paris to Atlanta. Ay, ay, ay! Well, today is Tuesday, December the 12th. We're on our second day of standing in line. What do you think about that? Good morning. Good morning, says the Duchess. So we're ready for another another day. Here's the uh, Ferrari shop in the Bologna airport. And there's a uh, F1 car made of Legos with a UPS sponsorship. That's fun. Yet another unusual situation here. We get to board the plane from the outside. We're out here on the uh, tarmac. There's Mrs. Murphy straight ahead. I have not been outside of a jetway in uh, forever. There we go. All these happy people. Uh, here we are in the Charles de Gaulle airport. Again, waiting in yet another, another line. 